Hey YouTube, Rubu22 here, uh, doing my first gear review. Um, so today I'm going to review my backpack, the Kelty Trekker 3950. Got it just about a year ago. Uh, bought it from EMS, Eastern Mountain Sports, for just about $130. Um, it is a 3950 uh, cubic inch pack and I'm pretty sure that is cannibal to about maybe a three to five day trip. Um so not very very long stay. I'm on a tripod right now so I have the ability to move around. Um let me just start off from the bottom of the pack here. Uh down here we have the part of the frame rail. Um, this part allows you to uh, attach tents, sleeping rolls, sleeping bag even, pretty much whatever you want to have in here. In here we have a larger pocket, and up here even larger pocket. Um, and then we have one, two, three, four pockets on the side. Uh, turn the pack over. We have our pack straps, hip belt, and the metal frame. Uh, some people will tell you that the external frame backpacks are not as good as internal frames um, I beg to differ uh, my girlfriend has a internal frame backpack from L.L. Bean and it is a really great pack however I prefer the external frame uh, it fits my body better and I'm able to hike better with it and carry my gear more efficiently with the external frame backpack um, if you can see here behind this this is the frame uh, this pack dry weight probably about five pounds um, it's not very heavy of a pack at all. It has this uh, pack cover really basically right on it, which is another cool feature that external frame backpacks have. Um, rather than having just that small piece, this has a very large flap that will cover basically almost the entire pack it's made of a water resistant nylon. Uh, and here we have a very large, very large compartment which zippers shut or zip ties shut sorry cinch it cinches shut uh, then we have it right in here where this is where I keep my hand warmers for right now because it's winter keep my first aid kit which this is not the exact one that I bought uh, it's filled up with three other first aid kits in there also might put some a little bit of food in here you know whatever I really feel like carrying with me on that certain particular part uh, down here this is the bottom compartment, uh, which on ex external frame backpacks you want your lightest gear to be down here. Um, I, because it's winter, I have my sleeping bag, which is a winter sleeping bag. Um, it's actually tight. It, it, this is as tight as it can possibly be. Uh, I was in the Young Marines, and um, the organization for uh, young men and women, kind of like you know, kind of like the Boy Scouts, but it's more military. Uh, I won an award for tightest roll wrap, so, you know, I'm, I'm even surprised myself I got it that, that tight. But anyway, so I have it just so it fits right in here. Uh, summertime, I have a different thing bag. Uh, I'll pick one of those up, be able to smaller, lighter weight, probably down to like 40 degrees rated to. That one's rated to probably around zero, more of a mummy wrap. Um, and any side pockets, this one I keep keys and uh, granola bars. This one I keep toiletries, uh, like like toilet paper um, and dryer lint for fire starter. In here is where I keep my water. Uh, the top other corner I have some tools. So right now I have this uh, this Browning straight edge knife, um, which is full tang, which I try and keep as sharp as possible at all times. Uh, fits fits well, feels nice, um, but it's not exactly the best thing you want to be carrying around in the city. So I keep it. Uh, up here. I also have my emergency rain poncho and um, flashlight, you know, something small just in case I would need it is right here. Uh, in this main compartment I have for when I go kayaking, this is a pad. Um, this is also a pad that I use to uh, cushion 
things in my backpack. Um, for example, my mess kit and uh, stove. I put that up against there so that it's not pressing against my back so much. Um, but I also use that, in, especially because it's winter. Um, I'll use that. I'll take that out and I'll sit down and prepare food. Uh, the Arcadia video I used that to sit down on when I was making our our, uh, our soup, uh, which worked really well. That uh, kept the snow off me. I kept warm and dry. Um, now this is not a very you know professional uh, review. Or it's just you know, impromptu, not very formal, but I just wanted to show you guys what I've been hiking with, and I give you a little bit of a recommendation. Uh, if you're looking to carry larger loads. Um, some of the time, maybe, maybe even more of the time, you know, what you might be doing, or you, you have plans to go more than overnighters, I would definitely suggest uh, picking up a larger external frame backpack. Um, I'm six foot, uh, I don't really weigh that much, and I'm probably around 165 right now, but um, it fits me very well, and uh, it works very well for me. It's extremely comfortable. Uh, everything it's right close to your body, but it's not so close um, that you're going to be sweating. Uh, down here, there's a lot of ventilation through this pack. This has a uh, piece of nylon mesh going in between the pack bag, the frame, and you, and it, that helps with a lot of airflow. Uh, thankfully enough, it's, it's close enough to me that in the wintertime, my body heat gets trapped inside there, and I, keep, I stay warm from the wind. The wind doesn't take my body heat away, but it does help a lot to have um, this type of a ventilation system. It's also one thing I like about these external like, frame backpacks is that they're completely customizable to the, your body shape. Uh, for example, up here, I have four spots for this pa uh, for this pack strap. I can move it anywhere that I want. Same thing with this side. When you get down here, you have different pack heights. So like, let's say that I'm a shorter person, but I need to uh, still carry the same amount of weight, and I want the size of a pack. I can shorten this up. Now me, I have, I have kind of a long torso. I'm a tall guy. I have a long torso and very long legs, um, but a skinny hip. So this this pack actually really accommodates well um, for my body style. Uh, and I can actually, if you can see here, these are the other points. I can actually um, size the length of the pack. You cannot size the width of the pack. You can only um, size your waist. Um, but this actually will sit right on your belly button, um, and it'll keep all the weight on your hips, where your body's designed to carry weight uh, as a man, uh, on your hips, instead of more on your shoulders. Even though all your heavy weight stuff's going to be up here, uh, the, this style, this pack, channels it right down to your hips. So uh, on the Arcadia Trail and on Caratunk, I was carrying a 50-pound pack just to do some training. I was carrying a 50-pound pack, probably would only really be necessary in a multi-day uh, trek, but... I was fine. I, w I went home and my buddies were tired, but they were using frameless packs. Um, and, uh, you know, I was carrying the heaviest pack of all. And I hiked just as far as they did. And, um, I kid you not, I was full of energy still. I don't know how, but I was full of energy still. Uh, it's, a, it's a great pack. I'll be doing more reviews of it later. Uh, maybe a more extended review if you guys would like. Uh, this is just a quick little overview of what I hike with. Um, I do have a couple other packs that I might be doing reviews on. I have a day pack, and then I have an older external frame, but this is the one that I use most often. Uh, so I just thought you guys might want to take a look at that. And if you are um, interested in getting into more uh, more into hiking, or if you uh, want to get out there and even just do day hikes, you know, um, send me a message. I, I can I can show you what I use as uh, day hike packs, or what I would suggest as a day hike pack. Um, even though I am using this with day hikes, I pack it like I would for multi-day treks all the time. Um, but back on topic, I, I will do a review on a day pack and what you should bring in a day pack. I'll also do a multi-day packing review, uh, show you what you should and should not bring. Um, depending on the style of hiking that you're going to be doing, um, like I, I just want to mention, um, I'm not saying that my video is or my instructions are, you know, the, the, the best ones to follow, or that I'm the best, or anything like that. It's just what I use, and it has worked for me. Uh, it might not work for you, but it works for me. Um, so far, anyway. So, you know, if anything changes, I'll, I'll be sure to let you know. Uh, but thank you for uh, thank you for spending a little time with me, and uh, thank you for checking the video. And, uh, <laughs> like I always say, may your boots meet every mile. <laughs>